We are one day away from the start of automatic spending cuts kicking in. The cuts, which have been on their way for 18 months now, are less than 24 hours away. And both parties in Washington, they're now scrambling to try to avoid the cuts. But should they be? Ben has the reality check you won't see anywhere else. The sequestration, the automatic spending cuts that are set to take place tomorrow. Now, less than one-tenth of what we borrowed to pay for the U.S. federal budget would actually be cut. And yet, the words being used by lawmakers indicate that the sequester is the end of us all. When the sequester bill was passed into law, it was a time bomb that was booby-trapped. We should not have to move a third bill before the Senate gets off their ass and begins to do something. What is the root of the word sequester? Sequester, one of my colleagues who's a Latin scholar told me, means really to hold hostage. And that's exactly what this does. <laughs> By the way, the Latin meaning for sequester is not to hold hostage. According to Webster's, the Latin root means to hand over disputed property to a trusted agent. Regardless, some very unhappy folks in Washington. But before you decide not to bother going to work tomorrow because of the impending doom that awaits us all, let's put this into perspective for you. The $85 billion in automatic spending cuts were part of the debt ceiling deal of 2011. Despite all the talk of cutting the budget with a meat cleaver and how these cuts are mindless, they aren't. These $85 billion for 2013 and $1.2 billion in cuts over the next 10 years came out of focus talks between Republicans and Democrats in 2011. Democrats wanted half the cuts to come from defense spending, and Republicans supported that. I asked Congressman Paul Ryan about that last year. You're talking about cutting defense spending, though. Isn't that part of the debt ceiling compromise? So we don't agree with that. That's the point we're trying to make. I voted for a bipartisan budget agreement. Now, Republicans, they wanted the other half of those cuts to come from domestic programs, something I questioned Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown about today. I think that back then people thought that uh, there'd be more reasonable compromise. So 18 months ago, the idea was that the sequester would never actually happen? Maybe so. Senator Brown says he and Senate Democrats have put forth their own plan to prevent the sequestration cuts. The Senate Democrat plan would raise taxes on those making $5 million a year or more. It would end farm subsidies and it would close tax loopholes for oil companies. Plus, there would be some spending reductions. The problem with that plan, though, the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, the CBO, says that plan actually increases the deficit by $7.2 billion. So how do Senate Democrats justify that? It shouldn't. We do it in a way that it shouldn't be to increase the deficit. But the focus needs to be on job growth. And we, we have seen with almost every economist alive say if we let this sequestration go through this way, that it's going to mean because of job layoffs uh, and less money in the economy. So what this means for you is that when lawmakers in Washington wring their hands and ask how could this be allowed to happen, the truth is sequestration is working. It's doing exactly what it was designed to do. It's cutting spending when Washington simply doesn't have the will. It is cutting from defense and from domestic spending, which neither side is willing to touch. Automatic spending cuts will hurt. But the truth is there's no way to correct Washington spending without paying. And even though both parties say over and over that we need to control spending, the sequester, it will cut the money where their mouth is. And that is Reality Check. You can find the sources for the story posted on our website, fox19.com. If you'd like to make your voice heard, head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by searching Ben Swan.